So what we're going to have, ladies and gentlemen, is I just want to go through immediately with this. And one kind of helpful hint to do this, guys, when you see something that's going to have all these exponents, the main important thing I want you guys to understand, a simp the most simplistic way for me to do this is to get rid of the parentheses. Automatically always first. I always like to get rid of the parentheses, then simplify the numerator, simplify the denominator. So if I have to get rid of parentheses first, the first thing I'm going to do is I have to distribute this negative 1 to every single term. You could. You could do that. I'm just saying, for me personally, this has been the easiest way for me to do it. So I distributed the y or the negative 1 to everything. And then since this is already raised to the negative first power, I know I have to multiply it by negative 1. Is everybody following with that? OK. So now let's simplify this. So now I know that I have a y and a y, so I can subtract these together, right? OK. So this is now going to equal 1 over 3 to the negative first power, x to the negative first power. And then what I'm going to do is negative 4 times negative 1 equals positive 4. <laughs> so what I have here is y to the negative first, this is in the top, to the negative first minus 4. Okay. Now that's going to be negative 1 minus 4 equals negative 5. So therefore, now that is going to be in my denominator. Okay. So what this now looks like, now remember, here's our rules that you guys need to remember. x to the negative n equals 1 over x to the n. And 1 over x to the negative n equals x to the n. So look it. I have a 1 divided by 3 to the negative first power. That means my 3 to the negative first power needs to go in the numerator. My x to the negative first power needs to go in the, denom in the numerator as well. But then, since this becomes y to the negative fifth power, right? because negative 1 minus 4 is y to the negative fifth, to answer this correctly, it needs to now go in the denominator as a positive exponent. So that is going to be your finalized answer. The x, here's what you did. You forgot, since this is 1 over 3 to the negative first power, it needs to go in the numerator. right? We don't write our answer with any negative exponents. So you said 3 to the negative. Yeah, but see, the problem is, when you did that, you got to remember, those are already in the denominator. right? They're already in the denominator. So yeah, but look at, look at. They're negative in the denominator, right? When you distribute that negative 1, they're negative in the denominator. So that means you have to put them in the numerator to make them positive. So you made them positive, which is correct. But then you, you, you forgot that they were in, already in the de denominator. You, you, for, you were thinking they were in the numerator, so to make them positive, you put them in the denominator. They're negative in the denominator, so to make them positive, you have to put them in the numerator. Kind of think of it like this. They're negative in the denominator. Now you have to put them up top to be positive in the numerator. If they're negative in the numerator, you put them in the bottom to make them positive in the denominator. OK? Good. Good work, though. You've made a small mistake. Not 